Okay, well today we have a haul video for you guys and I'm gonna move that out of my face. <laughs> I want to apologize to you guys for not having more haul videos recently. Um, things in our life have just been chaotic. Ashton is currently involved in two sports and he has practices three nights a week and <laughs> our life is just so is chaotic right now and, and we're just trying to make it work. I know we totally missed the haul video on the Interstate 81 antique stuff. Um, there's been a few videos that we missed recently. Some of the stuff that we're going to show you today actually is selling tonight and you're not seeing the video till tomorrow. So. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, uh, we're just a little behind, but I'm hoping to catch up and uh, just, you know, life happens. So, <laughs> so this is my apology to you guys. And also I know there've been a lot of complaints lately about the shorter videos. Um, the reason for that is just looking at the analytics, a lot of people drop off at about 10 minutes. That's like the sweet spot on YouTube is 10 minutes. That is the ideal time. Stay tuned for a 30 to 40 minute video though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, 10 minutes is like where it's at. So when it comes to shopping videos, um, if the video is about 30 minutes, I cut it in half. If it's 47 minutes, like this is past video with Sue, I cut it in three parts. <laughs> it's, you know, I just, I try to, I try to keep it short but sweet, but not too short and sweet, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, enough about that. We're gonna get into this haul video. This haul video is going to include what we bought with Sue, these past three videos, and then we're gonna go right into the stuff that Andrew has bought at the flea market, his past flea market video. Um, so, there's a lot of stuff out on the table, and all of it is listed. Almost all of it is listed. I've been very busy these past few days listing stuff, so. I can say most of it, I just kicked the camera, most of it is listed. So let's go over the stuff I bought with Sue. It's going to be real quick. I didn't buy a whole lot. I just bought a few items knowing that we've got a lot of stuff here on the table. A lot of stuff. Um, so we got a couple planters. Oh, by the way, this is, a, if, you, if you don't tune into the videos regularly, this is our bird, Hager. One of our birds, Hager. Um, he is a Illager's macaw. He's a mini macaw and he's pretty awesome. But yeah, he's awesome. He's super awesome. I mean, he's all right. He's my cuddle buddy. He's kind of in love with Andrew. Uh, but anyway, let's go through this stuff real quick. We bought a few planters. Uh, we bought this kitty planter. That's my ear. Stop whispering, sweet nothing slipper. We also bought this planter. Now, this planter right here is really... Hold that. Yes, ma'am. Oh my. <laughs> it's deceptively heavy. Wow. It's like you would not expect it to be as heavy as it is. Whoa. Right? Am I right? Like you hold it and you're like, oh my gosh, like that is so heavy. That's like real quality pottery right there. This one is bigger. And it, and it is and lighter. And I'm going to tell you, it's definitely lighter. Yeah. Absolutely. I lighter. know. It's still heavy. Yes. It's still heavy. But this is like a brick. That's some serious I know, clay. right? <laughs> that is so, some serious I'm not serious sure exactly clay. who makes this, but he's so heavy, I can almost say with certainty that he is USA pottery. Uh, some USA pottery of some sort. I don't know which one. Um, <laughs> then we've got one more planter. This one right here. Did you scare you? Did I scare him? I'm sorry. Mean mommy. And the reason that I bought this planter is because recently we had a biscuit jar. Yeah, when you pulled that out, I was like, is that another biscuit jar? And you're like, no, it's a planter. I was like, it's a planter in the same pattern. Yeah. Right? That's awesome. Isn't it awesome? That is awesome. Yeah, I was pretty proud of myself when I found this. Um, so for these figural planters with the dogs, we or the cat, <laughs> dogs or cats or critters in general, uh, we usually get probably about 15 to 20 dollars for them. Uh, the ones of higher quality, the American made ones, tend to go a little bit higher than the Japanese made ones. It, I mean, it just kind of depends. There's a lot of factors that go into it. But for these, I would expect probably to get 15 to 20 for these. Maybe a little higher for this guy, but only because... He's super I heavy. I feel like he's quality made. He is. I almost wonder if he's a character. Do you think he could be a character? It's very possible. Being, being quality made you, and, and nice and heavy. It's... I love him. That's all I have to say about that. Um, this piece right here, I know our biscuit jar did $100 plus. 
And that's because elephants do really, really well. At least I really like the color us. combination on that. It's got, it has something to do with that pale yellow. It just, it just, it's amazing. It's the color scheme. Unfortunately, this one does have a crack on it. It is made in Japan. So if you hold this compared to this, you will feel that this is super light. Here, hold this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Compared to this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely without So you can doubt. kind of tell from the weight and that's why some of the heavier ceramics I'm like, you know, I suspect that's USA made. Um, this is very light, but it does have the elephants on it. For this piece, I would expect probably about 20 bucks for this. Um, even with the crack, if it didn't have the crack, maybe a little bit more because of elephants. Really, that's the only reason. Elephants tend to do well. Now the trunk up I usually put that in my title because the trunk up represents good luck and people are more apt to buy stuff that is trunk up for good luck. Um, so we, we do pretty well with elephants. Here, hold this. Whoa, no, <laughs> not touching the top part. Um, so this is another piece I got and I only paid $8 for this. This is a tidbit tray or a three tier dessert tray. I was um, really impressed when you sent me the research on what, what these are worth. I thought it was pretty cool. So I paid $8 for this. I found a, an exact match on WorthPoint that sold for $75. So they sell pretty well, I'd say. I'd say that's pretty well for only having an $8 investment in it. Um, this one, unfortunately, it does have some oxidation on the metal parts. So I, I don't know if it's totally gonna go for 75 I yeah but with I would only think that eight dollars into it I'd be happy with 50 and I think it would probably 50 is a safe bet absolutely you sure you don't I'm not touch it? don't touch me no get it away from me Hager Hager look at it no look at it Hager touch it touch it even Hager's interested no. Hager wants to see a closer look no he doesn't hi Hager he's not interested okay so the last thing I got was Sue, and it was only a few things. We didn't buy a whole lot in this trip, to be honest. I mean, it was a three-part video, and I only bought a few things. Um, oh, including, you can see it back behind Andrew's head, this vase right here. I did buy that uh, when I was out with Sue. So this vase is also part of this haul, and it's not for sale. It's part of my winter decor. I'm trying to actually fill my console back here with milk glass and blue for winter. That's kind of my goal, and I have an objection to milk glass, so I really don't have any, but for decoration. And I still buy it just to have fun with you. <laughs> for decoration purposes, I'm like desperate right now for milk glass, and I'm like, why didn't I ever buy any milk glass for decoration purposes? For resale, it's really not there, but for my own decoration purposes, I should have bought it. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, so these right here were the last thing I bought when I was with Sue and these are just salt and pepper shakers I just I have to say They're supposed to be hugging you like this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're hugging cats I know you're not really into cats, but they're hugging that's still cats. cool though. They're not marked. I think they might be Italy. I Don't know the, cool. the faces on the on them make me say maybe Italy. They're not marked Japan. Italy or Japan? I just I'm not I'm not really cats, feeling too. Japan no, on I'm these. Not feeling the cats either. Sorry. What do you think? He just wants your your sweatshirt strings. That's his only goal right Italy now. Italy or Japan? Eat it. He says I will eat it, and he I will says, tell you. Japan. <laughs> he says Japan. Did you really say that? He says no. I'm going this way. I don't like you. <laughs> it's all good. I get it. He's like um, I got dead. I, I get it. I get it. I understand. Um, so for those right there, I would expect probably to get about 20 bucks. The figural salt and pepper shakers, the critters, we tend to do better on. Um, unless, of course, you know, they're a brand like Franciscan or something like that. We tend to do better on the figural salt and pepper shakers. So I think we did okay. I'm going to double my money on those. I think they're adorable. I paid $9 for them, though, which I typically don't like to spend. No, not for salt. But you know what? But they're cat. They're, well, they're cats, and I like the paint job on them. Yeah. It's not a crap paint job. Um, it's a glaze. It's not even a paint job. It, well, whatever it is, it's they, they did a really, it's, it's a quality looking piece. Exactly. And the fact that they added color to the cat's eyes. Yellow eyes. Yellow eyes. That's a nice little touch on them. I like it that. It's nice. 
I like them. So that is everything that I got with Sue. My total spend was $115, but like I said, I also bought this guy back here, um, and that was $26, I think. Cool. So I think we're going to do all right. Is there a, like a... So I know when you buy stoneware Crocs. Yes. It's by the gallon, mm -hmm. basically, is how they figure price on Crocs. Is there a way that you can look at those tall vases? Yes, it's by the inch. By the inch. Okay. So those are usually sold, well, collectors look at them by the inch. So taller vases tend to fetch more money depending on the color. Um, and there are like a variety of different colors by Ellie Smith and Viking. Um, I don't know if this is Viking or Ellie Smith. I, I wasn't really feeling Ellie Smith or Viking on this one. Uh, it could be an Italian made piece. Not really sure about that. Um, but they do sell them by the inch, so that's important if you are selling them and you are brave enough to ship them, that you include the height because the height is important. And I would even, if I was selling them, I would include that in my title, how tall they are, because that's gonna attract the collectors. So Andrew went to the flea market and I was there part of the day, but not the whole day. While he was there, he picked up some boxes from Eric. Um, a lot of those boxes he didn't even really have a chance to look through. But some of them he did have a chance to look through, and some of the stuff he actually purchased before I even got there. So we're going to go through that stuff real quick. I have already been through all of it, unfortunately. I do prefer the the flea market videos where I haven't been through the stuff. I feel yeah. like those are more exciting. Even though I'm excited, like I feel like I'm excited, so you're excited because I'm seeing it for the first time. I listed all this stuff, so I've seen it. I'm not going to, like, <laughs> fake excite. I Honestly, I'm not a very good actress, so I... I couldn't even really fake it if I wanted to. Um, but there is some really great stuff in here, so we're going to share it with you guys. Actually, I want to pull this piece out real quick because I got this from Dave. Is this any good? <laughs> That's exactly what he said to me when I showed up there. Is this, is this He's any like, good? Is, wait, it's got I've, a sticker on I've it. I've got this piece with this sticker on it, and I was wondering, is this, you know, is this any good? And it's not going to focus for you guys. Wait, let's see if I can click it. There we go. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. You seeing that sticker? Yeah, that sticker says Fostoria! I'd say it's all right. <laughs> and that's the cubist pattern? It is. I think it's American when it's uh, Fostoria. So Fostoria and Indiana and all these companies make this like block cube looking pattern. I just love the sticker though. And the Fostoria one is probably the most desirable of them and so I, every time I see it, I buy it and I'm with the hopes of, hey, this might be a Fostoria. And it usually isn't. And my hopes are dashed because it's Home Co. And I'm like, darn it all. Made in USA. And so he finds this piece with the original sticker that fo says Fostoria. And I just can't even. I can't even. Well, you're going to have to. <sighs> I'm going this to. This is really cool. I like this. That is really neat. Um, Louisville Kennel Club, best of breed. Now, I don't know if you were able to make out. I can't. The signature on it. I, I don't didn't know actually if this look is. That close. I don't know if this is like a. It's definitely um, etched. Oh yeah. And the ring light's gonna play tricks on you guys. Um, there is a signature, and I don't know if I'm gonna get it for you guys. It's right here. There's a signature right there. So uh, I'm not really sure about this piece. So. I actually I. Don't have that piece listed. I love I know I said I have most pieces listed, but I don't have that or the phosphor. So you started out. Like I do. I do want to nix out. I do want to nix out the mall etching though because it's signed. Mm -hmm. I want to nix out the mall yeah. etching. Yeah. So I'm I'm just trying to break it down and trying to figure out because I have no idea what something like this would be worth. Me neither. I like it though. I do too. It's a nice piece. And I like that it's cobalt. Oh yes, we love cobalt glass. It's yes. very pretty in the window. Do you like this? I do like that. Do you like this? Even though it's transfer, and you know I have a thing about transfer. And there's no guts to the clock. Do you like this? I do like it. Yeah. Now, it's not marked anywhere on it except to say rose. Right. And I don't know if that's in reference to the color because the flowers on it are definitely not roses. No, but I wonder if this shade that's is rose. That's what I'm rose. saying, the color. Yeah. yeah. I think the color is rose and not the flowers because that is the only mark anywhere on the piece is rose yeah um my thought for this this would make for a really killer mantle picture frame mm -hmm. 
if you have a wedding picture, a graduation picture, something you want to put it together and get, get a round frame from Michaels or AC Moore and put it in and figure out how to mount it in there, you could have a really cool... Oh, I agree. Yeah. Really cool... Um, yes, I know. I edited arts the and, video. Arts and crafts. I heard that theory. I agreed with it. I'm not knocking it. I just said I watched the video. I edited it. And I uh, heard that theory and I agreed with it. And I think it's yeah, a great it's, idea. You know, I don't know. I, I come up with weird crap like I that I like that time. idea, though. I love to repurpose things mm -hmm. that, you know... Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, where are they going to end up? So it's great to like, find landfill, old things. Up space. Exactly. So it's great to find old things, and even if they're broken, you know, you can repurpose them. This does have a chip in it. Um, however, we had something very similar. Okay. We had three pieces very similar. Oh no, Ooh, you didn't. No, 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 no. No, yeah. it's because he can't get your strings. He's yeah. coming after my necklace. You little stinker. Yeah. No, come on. Because I, I can get your string and going after her necklace. Yeah, and that's that'll help chew right through that. So it's got one tiny doink, but we had three pieces of this before, three or four pieces with the yes. blue. Yes, and it is 1800s. And I remember that the person that bought the stuff was excited to get it because it was either mom or grandma that yes. collected yes. it. Yes, and that made it. me so, really happy. Yeah. I love stories like that. So even with a tiny little doink on it, and it came from the flea yes, market, we're gonna, I'm, I grabbed it. So now this is marked August 1969 sale, C.R. Metzger. I do read the messages that people send through um, when they come through on the orders when they buy the stuff. It's a it's a note it's to like the seller. On there, but uh, let's see. Here's the chip right here on this piece. You can see there's a chip right there. Still got my face. Slide here. Oh, now it's on his face. There we go. <laughs> um, but no, I was just saying that I, 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 when people buy stuff, sometimes they put a note to the seller mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. And when I'm packing and shipping, I get to see those those notes to the seller, and I do pay attention. So that's how I know <laughs> why that was bought. Oh, he's gonna get your chain. He's not gonna get my chain. I'm he's gonna hide it from gonna him. Get your chain. Don't get my chain. Um, this is one of those pieces that I did tell you it's being sold this evening and you're not going to see this video until tomorrow. So unfortunately, did you hear him laugh? <laughs> he just laughed. He thought it was funny. <laughs> um, this is one of those pieces that unfortunately it is selling this evening. So you're not gonna... <laughs> What's so funny? It's not funny. They lost their chance to bid on it. <laughs> Um, so this is really beautiful lime green with the gold flag. So I believe that's called Aventurine. Ooh. Gosh darn it. Come here. Why can't you just be my friend? You're using me for my okay. chain. Um, I don't know for sure if this would be considered a Murano. I did not consult Mary. I did not want to overburden her with my consulting. So I just I just called it art glass. I've been doing that a lot lately, just calling stuff art glass and not labeling it. Um, I feel like those who follow us know that sometimes we find it and I'm just gonna throw it out there. It was art glass. But it is a beautiful piece. I wanna say it's Murano. I feel like I it like is. it. I Deep like the down, color I, feel like, I like the flake in it. <laughs> I love the lime green. And even Ashton spotted it on the table and he says, Oh my gosh, mom, can I have this? Please tell me you haven't listed it yet. And I was like, sorry, dude, it's been listed. If I find another one, it's yours. He was really kind of bummed. I'm like, dude, it's an ashtray. Yeah. You're eight, <laughs> you know? But anyway, so um, that's a really neat piece. I like that one. This is cool. Oh, yes. Meow. Oh Eldrith. Gosh. I pulled that out and I was like, what is this? Meow. Why didn't I see this before? Meow, meow. Eat it. Meow. His reaction is just eat it. That's meow. his reaction to everything. Um, the space right here is made by Eldrith Pottery. And we have been doing pretty well with the Eldrith Pottery. Uh, we had the one jack-o'-lantern piece that actually one of our viewers filled us in on. We did not know what it was or how good it was. <laughs> and one of our viewers said, that's Eldrith Pottery, you should look it up. And ever since then, when we've we come, yeah, when we come across like it, we buy it. And you know, we've been reselling it and 
doing pretty well with it, actually. That is actually an Eric pick. That is that is an Eric. This was an Eric item. pick. This was an Eric saying, "I know you like the Eldrith. I will give you the Eldrith." Mm -hmm. Eric's awesome. Yes. If you didn't know that already, just so you know now. Um, so that is a great piece. I, I don't think I've seen the cat before. I mean, we've had the pig. I've we've seen the, the Santas. Ones from the nativity. We've, yeah, the little nativity pieces. Obviously, we saw the jack o' lantern. So I mean, the cat. I was a little tempted to keep it. I'm not gonna lie. But it's really not my style, so I was able to give it up. If it's mid-century, it's not going anywhere. Just for future reference. Okay. Uh, this piece right here, I'm not sure. I love that. I don't know if we, we actually hauled this. I feel like we did this before, and I, I can't know. remember. Maybe it's just one of those amazing pieces that got mixed back into the box of stuff from I don't know. We're all confused now. But this is just a really, really awesome creamer. It's okay if they if if we hauled it already they get to see it twice because it is yeah. it is really. I nice don't know piece. if we gave a close up of it the last time. I don't know, um, but this piece is marked. It is marked by the manufacturer. So this is a blank, and it was actually hand painted by an artist. But it was a blank by Kala Germany, and then it was hand painted by Agnes Stilney in 1934. So she painted this winter scene of these little kids and this woman. And it's like this this house with the smoke coming out of the chimney. I just I love this piece. I think it's cool. I, I saw it when when you were working with it and I was I like, I really Ooh. like it. And I thought, you know, if we already hauled this and I didn't like take the time to show it and really show it, I need to do it again. So when you put it out on the table for this haul, I'm like, you know. And honestly, sometimes <laughs> sometimes between the picks and the hauls. Quite a bit of time has gone by and mm -hmm. I forget what I bought. And then he's putting stuff on the table. I'm like, we already did that. We already did that. That's already done. Did that earlier today, yeah. A couple times, a <laughs> couple items. Uh -huh. yeah. um, let's look at your snow globe collection because it's just glaring at me. Okay, let's get it out of the way. So, we bought a bunch of snow globes. Snow domes, as eBay calls them. Snow domes? Snow domes. Oh. That's what eBay calls them, snow domes. A whole collection of them. And they are actually souvenir. They are all from different cities and places. And we've got New York City. They're all vintage. Maryland. Oh, they're all vintage. They're plastic. This one's got like a... A bus. Yeah, and they're really cool. Unfortunately, they, they're, they're missing water. But I think there's like a little rubber gasket that you can add water mm -hmm. to them. But there's a whole nother box over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's at least 20, 20, 25, maybe 30 of them. And they are all vintage souvenir snow globes. And Ashton saw them. And those of you who know that Ashton, for a while there, was collecting snow globes. He went crazy. He still gets them every once in a while. He does. Every time I travel. And we let him pick one out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And every time I travel, steps. I get one for him. Um, for sure. But he's really into glass now. He really likes the art glass, but uh, we did let him pick out some of the snow globes. So, so we've got a ton of souvenir snow globes from all over the place, everywhere, all different cities and states. This one's Las Vegas. It's got some glitter in it, and so uh, we listed quite a few of those up as just by themselves, and they're not actually performing real well. So I might do a bulk lot. That's what I've decided. Casey and I were talking. We might just throw throw. A Bunch together and just yeah yeah yeah. That's what I'm thinking. What about that big <sighs> black guy. flowered? So craziness. this purse. Isn't that called stiffle? No, it's not. So this piece right here, um, I noticed that I, I pulled it out of the box and I said, Andrew, send Eric a text message and ask him if this is Consolidated Glass Company poppies because it, that's what it looks like to me. And it looks like it's been painted. And before he sent the text message, I was doing a little research and it turns out that it is Tiffin and it, the pattern is called poppies. It's the Tiffin pattern of poppies. And it is actually satin amethyst glass, but honest to goodness. You I'm, can't see I'm it. holding this up to, wait, no, look, there's a spot right there. Oh, it is and it is beautiful. I am holding this up to the light right now, and there's only one little sliver where I can see through this. It is so thick and so black that you just you can't really see through it. But it is, it is 
purple glass. It's just a black. I know. It's it turned off um so so that's what it is it is it is an amethyst satin glass and it is painted the poppies are painted and they're painted red and the leaves are painted green and it's a really nice piece i like it we, but what else we've got over there well, oh 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 right there on top that carnival glass the one that's not going anywhere mm. And this carnival glass. Oh, that green apple. <laughs> Ooh. So, we, Andrew brought this carnival glass as an offering to me because he loves me so much. And he thought, you know, I'm going to show her how much I love her and I'm going to bring her this carnival glass. Excuse me? Hi, I love you. What? What? Um, so, he mm. brought me this carnival glass. It is actually... You guys can't see it. It's an emerald glass. It's actually green. Maybe you can yes. see it. Yes. And I don't often come across the green. I have amethyst, I have the cobalt, of course I have marigold, you know, but green. That's amazing. It's pretty awesome. And I'm not familiar with this pattern. I'm not familiar with that pattern. I'll have to look it up. But I was just, I was really pleased with that and it probably won't be going up for sale. See, this I'm not as excited about. This is the daisy and buttons. This but is, you still like that color sometimes. Oh, I do. But this is Amberina. Mm -hmm. um, so this pattern is called Daisy and Buttons. Uh, it's a nice piece, but it, it's not one that I get overly excited about because it's a very common pattern. And I'm not actually sure who makes it. It's not marked on the bottom. But yeah, the pattern is called Daisy and Buttons because you can see here, if it focuses for you, you can see there are daisies and there are buttons. And that's now, why this is that called. would that be a candle votive? I'm not sure. I would be tempted to call it a rose bowl because of the shape. Okay. Um, but yeah, you could totally put a candle in there. Like a little tea light? You could, and it would look really nice, I think. Mm. Looks like somebody did that, actually. That's what it looks like in the bottom. Yep, there's wax in there. Yep, yep. absolutely. No, that's, that's, I think the color on that with the light coming out of it would just... I like the amber right now. What have we got here? Royal Royal Worcester. <coughs> I'm dying. Sorry. Please don't. I'm not really. Okay. Um. So this is the Royal Worcester. 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 sauce. Boing China. Those are really pretty though. They are. Um. There are coasters. We actually have two sets of these, and they're actually. In the box, still. Hand painted. What did they, they? They're in the medallion pattern. Yeah. And we've got two of them. Yes. So we have one listed currently. I only listed one. They're different. They're both different. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're both. They're different. the same thing. The colors are different. The colors are different. The okay. colors are different. Okay. The colors are different. That, the this pattern one's green is and the blue. same. That, that one's, one's yellow and orange. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's it's gotta awesome. get all technical on me. Sorry. So we've got those. We've got this bow. Mmm. So it's made in Germany. Germany. The edges are like a stencil. The inside is a transfer wear. It is made in Germany, as it says on the back. <laughs> as it says on the back. <laughs> what? You thought I just made that up? <laughs> um, this piece I would expect probably to get 15 to $18 for. These are I, actually really cool. Yeah, I love those. I cover your face. This is me covering your face. Stop being worried on my hand, please. <laughs> um, so these are actually really neat. And the reason these are really neat is because when we were in Emporium, Emporium Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, we were in Emporium Pennsylvania at this little junk shop and we bought these china dishes and they were really ornate china and on the back they looked like oyster shells kind of like this and they ended up selling really really well they were probably individual oyster shooters and they were like old victorian era yeah. sold for really good money so i could see why andrew saw these and said i need to have but them. these these are not that old no they're not that old no, but they're still along the same yeah you know, yeah I, I saw them, I was like, ooh. 
here we have a windmill pitcher. This is like a little mini creamer, probably. I'd say that's miniature. Delft? Yes, oh yes, definitely Delft. It has a windmill on it. Come on, it has a windmill on it. Um, this piece right here, I would expect probably to get 12 to $15 for. Unfortunately, these pieces do not go together. But both Casey and I pulled them out of the box and asked Andrew, do these go together? And both times he answered, no, they do not go together. <laughs> they do look similar, but one is marked um, Jean Poyot. Yeah, if I remember right when I was filming, I, I noted in the video that they were not matching, not matching, but they were still too pretty to leave. They're really nice. Behind. This piece right here is an Otaki piece. It's got the blue luster wear edge with a hand painted rose center. This piece right here, I would expect to get 20 to $25 for. It has the cutout handles. I love that piece. It's a nice piece. A more luster right there. By the way, the kids are gonna be home soon. That's why all of a sudden the pace like just <laughs> went really fast. Um, so we've got these salt and pepper shakers here. These are your typical um, Nortaki design. I mean, not really typical, but I mean, you, you see this a lot. There's a swan, there's a lake, there's a little cabin by the lake. These are like just, it's just, it's a typical. And you see them in all sorts of colors. Yes. You see them these in the blue are really, and... really nice. They have their original corks. They're just, you know, they're really, they're made in Japan, um, but. They just, they're matchy matchy. Yeah. They're really nice. And for these, I would expect probably to get 15 to 20 bucks for. Those are cool, because they are all different, different colors. colors. Except for there are two black, and I think and two, two purple. purple, yes. I can't pull them all out, yo. Um, so these right here are bone dishes. And they were set by your plate, and you would discard your uh, like chicken bones, your fish bones, and you would discard them on this little plate that's set by your plate. Um, so I'm not really sure what these would go for, but we tend to do pretty well with them. And we have got a huge set here of all different colors. They're very nice. These are cool. These I have to look because I think these have a little bit of age to them. They look like they've got a little bit of age to them. Mm -hmm. Staffordshire, England. Very nice plates. Yes, Valley Forge, I think Independence Scotland. Hall, um, the Hudson. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reach over you. This. Ah, uh, yes. This is a nice piece. Ah. All right. So one of the one of the other potteries besides Eldroth that we find a lot is this Hadley pottery. This is M.A. Hadley. This is a dish. Covered dish. <laughs> it's a casserole dish. And when you eat everything inside, it says... All gone. All gone. You ate it all. It's all gone. Um, <laughs> it's marked on the inside of the lid. It has a piggy and a cow on it. There are utensil marks on the bottom. Um, but it is also marked on the bottom, M.A. Hadley. I love their stuff. I feel like it's kind of whimsical. I also like their coffee mugs because the bottom says low tide. Like you drink all the coffee in the bottom when you're done, it says low tide. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Yeah. I love their stuff. I was floating around on my own before you got there. I see that. I spotted this. I didn't film me buying this. It's Coronet. Coronet. They only paid like three bucks for this. I feel like there's another company that's more well known that makes that not coronet. McCoy? I liked the colors. I like it too. Normally these would come with smaller little swans and there'd be like a whole family of little swan planters. I don't think coronet made them though. I feel like it was McCoy. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like it was. There, there was a company that made, they had a bigger swan and they had little swans to go with it. But I really like, I love the color, and I, yeah, I feel that, like it was made to look like one of those McCoy yeah. swans. If it's McCoy, I don't know for sure. The lady had some really amazing <laughs> carnival glass I there. I that. Um, but I wasn't really looking to pay some of the prices she had the carnival glass marked. 
Carnival Glass is tough because the price of Carnival Glass has really gone down. And me as a collector, I am, this is the perfect time to buy Carnival Glass, but for me as a reseller, not so much. So I buy it right now as a collector, but not as a reseller. Um, this piece right here, this is a Moonstone Glass. It's called Moonstone, that's what the type of glass is called because it has this white opalescent edging and then it kind of fades down into clear. It's called Moonstone. And it, I would assume this was a vanity dish. It was probably a powder dish. That is my assumptions. <laughs> I'm making assumptions. It's never a good thing. Um, but it is a really nice little hobnail dish. Hobnail because of the little bumps all over it that look like tiny little toe warts. What else we got here? I'm not really a fan. <laughs> this is actually pretty light for the size of it. It is grindly. It is the Victory England Grimbly. Yes. Grimbly, Grimbly. So this Grimbly. is a covered dish. Usually on these covered dishes, we do about 20 to 25 on these. I liked the square lines on it. It does have nice lines. And the handles are nice and squared off. I, yeah. I like them. The only problem with these is that a lot of people don't really do fancy dinners anymore. I know. That is the only drawback. I mean, I think they're awesome. I love them. I think they're great. But I as far as reselling, there's not enough people doing fancy dinners to want to buy them. <laughs> people should do fancy dinners. I agree. This is cool. This is this is a collector's plate. Um, it's made by Lamberton China. It's made in America, which is odd because what this is this is a. Dutch commemorative plate mm -hmm. commemorating the birth of Princess Marguerite Francisca. Of course, I know her. Well, she was actually uh, born in 1943, but her family was in Canada because the Nazis had taken over the Netherlands mm -hmm. and they couldn't live in their home. So she was born in Canada. Oh, wow. And there's, if you go online, there's a whole entire story That's how really cool. the ward that she was born in was turned into an international ward so she could keep her Dutch birthright. It's, it's really, really cool history. And the, the plate is in Dutch. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's a super, super cool history on this lady. That's actually really interesting. And, and I think she's still alive. I want to say she's still around, but super cool, That's super cool so history. That's so neat. When I was looking at it and... and <laughs> No, don't talk about it. It gives don't it gives it. three it gives three wishes of good things for for her in her future. Okay. Which I thought was really cool. Um, oh, I thought you were gonna talk about the translation that Google gave you. Google did give me a translation on one of the wishes, and I don't think that's what it says. It was horrible. Yes. We can't and even talk about it on YouTube. Don't talk about it on YouTube. Yes. I will get demonetized. Okay. Okay. Rooster. We're just gonna no. We're just gonna move on. We're gonna move on from that. It has nothing to do with roosters or any other name for roosters. Look, salt cellars. <laughs> so I think I believe these are Bohemian salt cellars. There are also spoons that go with them. Um, it is a complete set. They are still in the box. Original box, yeah. Um, unfortunately, not all the spoons are here. Some have broken. Uh, but it is a nice set of salt cellars. Why don't we talk about those pieces that you have stashed under there that we have been waiting to the very end, just because the kids might be home at any moment. Oh, uh, yes. Ashton has basketball practice tonight, so we're just... Yes, 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 I see what you're saying. It's kind of basketball. These That's are pretty good. epically amazing. And these are phenomenal. I love the research that you were able to do on these. It really didn't take a whole lot of research. I looked them up on Worth Point. <laughs> so, what? I love these wood carvings. Yeah, okay. So, Eric watches our eBay, as you know, and, wait, no, you picked these out. No, those are, those are total, these what? Are, wait, wait, wait a minute. who's I gonna don't take remember. credit? I don't who's remember, gonna take credit? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it could have been him. Okay, so Eric watches our eBay. It probably he, was. he sees what you guys are buying, he goes out in search of these things and then we buy them from him. Um, so one of the things that he sees that you guys are crazy about is wood carvings. 
I can't, I, I don't blame you. I like wood carvings personally. I do too. <laughs> so he uh, found these and they are. They're signed. They are signed. They are signed by the artist J. Rosas. I'm sure I just butchered that. I took four years of Spanish in high school, but I just, I can't remember any of it. It's just a little blur. Um, but they are beautiful. This one's titled. Pieces. One is titled, one is not. Texco Grow. Um, I don't know what that means. But they are completely one piece. The frame and the actual piece of art are all one carving. I looked these up on Marth Point and they sell anywhere from $300 to $400. I, I mean, you know what? Honestly, because this is all all hand detailed. Oh, it's a, it's, it is amazing. When I pulled them out of the box, I thought I should probably look these up. And I did. And I looked up the artist, and sure enough, they sell for for really. I mean, even even in the man's sombrero, all the little creases and folds that would be there from the straw that was yeah. used, they cross hatched it to make it actually look like a straw sombrero. Yeah. I mean, it's they're, it's they're just beautiful pieces of Mexican folk art. Yeah. Um. So. So I'm really, really pleased with these pieces. Uh... <laughs> these folks are enjoying a lot of tequila right now. That's a uh, agave plant that they make the tequila from, and yes. these are large jugs of tequila. Is that what that is? And they're going to a party. Oh. And I want to go because it's going to be a great party. They can't even see it right now when you're explaining it to them. I don't think I showed this one. This is the scene that Andrew is describing right now <laughs> with the tequila. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, but no, these are really, really nice pieces of art. I'm very excited about them. Uh, I think our total spend at Eric was 300 Yes. So if we get $100 for both of those, that's $200 out of our chunk. And I'm pretty pleased with that. I'd be happy with $100. Um, right as soon as I listed them, within the first hour, I had four offers. Mm. Um, some were really low-ball offers. We don't accept we don't accept best offers. That's just like a policy. We, we don't list, work we outside list, of eBay. Nope. Um, we list everything for auction. It goes for auction. I mean, that's just our philosophy on everything. We list it all for auction. If you can get a great deal, that's awesome. And here's and here's <laughs> the reason. Um, because if we start doing it for one person and five more people find out that we're doing that, then we're going to have six people that are going to want us to do that. And then we're going to take away from the other people that are still buying... I just, I don't want to, it's too That's much. That's why we started doing auctions in the first place. It's too much. to give everybody that fair playing field and just go yeah. from there. So yeah. that's why we do it. And we start everything super at low. $4. Well, <laughs> the majority Well, of yeah, with, the majority with Andrew's coins and stuff like that, where he has more money invested in those, we start them a little higher. But for most of the stuff we're buying at the flea markets and whatnot, we started at $4. And I feel like that's a fair starting price. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so... We're gonna go through whatever else we have on the table here. If we have to cut this video short, I feel like we're just gonna cut it short. We're not gonna go into the other stuff. Mm, yeah, because there's still a ton of there's stuff. There's still here. a ton of stuff. I mean, there's. Um, but there, the kids are gonna be here any minute. Just for example, there's there's a whole box here that's full of the luster, the luster, as well as a whole set of this stuff. Occupied Japan, even. This one's just marked in. Japanese. Oh. This is an older piece. So this one is Occupied Japan, and I feel like it comes with a sugar and a creamer, right? Uh, it does. Yeah, so there's a sugar and a creamer with that. This is more than likely, is this a coffee? Or I think that is a... Uh, it looks like a coffee to me. Usually the taller uh, ones are coffee or chocolate. And the fact that it's made in Occupied Japan in English means that it was made for export. Yeah. So it's probably a coffee or... A single serving coffee. Or a chocolate pot. So then we've got the geisha ware. Maybe since it's so small, espresso. That's possible. Since that's a little more potent and you don't want to drink Perhaps. as much. Perhaps. So then we have the teapot, which is geisha ware. And by geisha ware, I mean there is a geisha pictured on it. It is marked in Japanese, so it is not actually marked in English. Yeah, the cups are the same way, but there's no no, no photos in the bottom. There are no geishas in the bottom. 
but that's all right because you know what? They're still really, they're gorgeous pieces. They are really nice, yeah. I love that vibrant red yeah. iron oxide paint. Here's some Nippon. I feel like I listed that. What? This. I, I must have listed this. I feel like I listed this. <laughs> it is a nice little Nippon hand painted dish. It is marked on the bottom Nippon. Now, Nippon is the early name for Japan. So when you see Nippon, it is like pre English markings on dishes. It's a good sign. <laughs> What was that um, tick tock, the mouse ran up the clock? Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. And then the uh, cat's chasing the Aww. mouse. A little scene. We need a cat. Nor talkie. I'll be killing my birds. Birds like cats. No, cats don't. like birds. No, you don't. Some cats I don't trust like them. Birds. This is cool. R. Hardy, California. Mm -hmm. The Marlin. Yes, it's more than likely a hobbyist piece. It's a Marlin because I totally listed it as a sailfish. Sailfish or Marlin, either or. Either or. You can use either or on a fish like that. Um, Actually, both would be great because then you... If it's just listed straight like straight as a sailfish. Um, I've already listed this piece. Swordfish would be another it's one. It's not a swordfish because swordfish don't have that sail. Okay. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> I've eaten enough swordfish to know. <laughs> I grew up in New England. We ate lots of swordfish. <laughs> um, this piece right here, it <laughs> it is a wall pocket. It is more than likely a hobbyist piece that is signed on the back, but it depicts a sailfish. Not a swordfish. Okay. Marlin. God darn it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm gonna share this with you because I picked this little guy up. He's so cute. He was crammed and smashed down into the gravel. That's so sad. You picked I, him up in the gravel. And I know he matches all the other little wood animals that have the hand painting on them, that have yeah. the strings. Yeah. That I just put in the other box. Oh, he's so cute. And he's cute. still in good shape. So I was like, oh, I'm going to save your life, horsey. Oh, his life was spared. By a great man. By a great man. <laughs> he wants to hold still for his photo opportunity. <laughs> he's pretty cute. He looks like he's been in the gravel for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Holy smokes, where did those come from? They were in this box. Andrew st bought some miniature steins. Many steins. I feel like some of these can be grouped because... Nuremberg. They're all, well, most of them are like German souvenir steins. Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Yes, okay. Stuttgart. Mainz. A Bitburg. Oh my gosh, and they're marked with Japanese stickers. Lohenbrau Munchen. Next here. Oh my gosh, Main West speaking Germany. in German is fun when you don't know what you're talking about. Ich spreche Deutsche. They're all with Japanese stickers. Mittenwald and Frankfurt. I know Frankfurt. Good Frankfurt is easy. But this is like a giant box full. I mean, there's got to be like 40 signs in there. Mm -hmm. I will probably list them off in lots mm -hmm. because I don't know how else to list those. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Eric. I love steins. This is not my fault. I these, didn't do this. These are like shot glass steins, though. Yeah, I know. These are great. What is a German liquor? Name one. Jägermeister. Jägermeister in little steins. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a party. Party in my mouth and everybody's invited. I feel like that was a not good statement. No, that's me. No, that's like if you go to a restaurant and you say, oh my God, this is amazing. It tastes great. There's a party in my mouth and everybody's invited. It's, oh, it's, it's the same? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I've never heard that before. Nora Jean Nastral. 1981. Sign. I like the bird though, yeah. That's what saved that piece. I do like the bird and the sponge bear. So the sponge bear is this, kind of like if you were to do sponge painting on your wall. It's called sponge wear. We can't seem to get enough of these. Goodness Those gracious, they're following us everywhere. Scotty the creamers. little Scotty creamers. Yes. Ooh, whole box here. 
Pretty one. I think I think Casey listed this one. I really like that. It's got some pretty colors. This was on a shelf for a while in a kitchen. I can see that. This was in a kitchen with the grease. Yes, and, <laughs> and the dust on top. This, if this got a good wipe down, this would like this would look really nice. This is a nice tin, nice graphics. Okay, so our friend John showed up last night, and we stopped filming. And we didn't actually get back to filming last night. So it is now the next day. We're gonna finish off this haul. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna post the video. There's not a whole lot left. No, there really isn't a whole lot left, but we're gonna finish it off. Um, Hager is extra talkative today, so. Hi, buddy. He just waved at me. Pretty sure that was a wave. <laughs> okay, so let's finish this off. All right. So what did we not do here? Oh, we didn't do this. Yeah, that's actually really, really I like cool. this. This is a set of, what, three, six little coasters on there mm -hmm. with the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And they're all different. And then the large tray. And I want to say there are... Butterfly wings. They're wings, but it looks like the actual body is, is just, just paper. yeah. But they actually used butterfly wings because this one here is actually starting to oh, deteriorate on the tray. But you've got the tray. The tray. And they're not marked. You can see this. They're one like a rattan. Yeah, they're really neat though. So I liked it. Very cool. Very cool. Mm -mm -mm. Got this pretty little piece here. Yeah. This is marked. Bridgewood and Son, England. That's a nice piece, and I was very tempted to hold on to this, but I did. We did list it, so. I know, right? <laughs> very tempted to hold on. To it. This is cool. The um, the box has some. Unfortunately, has some mouse damage to the box, but it is the original box. With the original little pirate treasure chest, I don't see a key, but it does have the little little lock, yeah, little heart shaped padlock, and don't those those heart shaped those little heart shaped padlocks actually were a very old style lock, so it's actually modeled after a mid eighteen hundred style lock. It needs to be cleaned out, but yeah. That's neat. Yeah, it's got the pirate and the skull and the crossbones. It's made of pot metal, it feels like. Yeah. It's a cool little treasure chest. It is. It's a fun kids thing. And it's an older piece, so. I like that. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, I have a whole box of stuff here. You do. Red wing. Red wing. Yes. Yeah, this is a really pretty piece. Yes, this piece is actually red wing and it is blue. It is like really, really dark blue. It looks black, but it's actually blue. And you can actually see the glaze right on the edge where it's not as thick. You can uh, you can see that it's blue, but I'm gonna just mark your red wing. This is cool. It's Aww, a hex, yeah. but on a plate. Neat. A Pennsylvania Dutch thing. Mm hmm. Laura Drumheller. In a JNC Bavaria plate. That's really pretty. Did a nice job with that. I love the hand pan porcelain. I'm such a sucker for it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. National Bank of Allentown. A little coin savings bank. Oh, and you can put currency in there too. You can push your dollar in the bills. Back. Yeah. So it's like a little bank. But it looks like a um, like a little magazine stand or something. Mm -hmm. Like totally it's it's a loose lady like I like it. Yeah. That's totally neat. modern. Yeah. I'm digging it. Can you dig it? I like it. I like that a lot. And I guess you could put those paper rolls in there, or no? If, I guess if you put the paper rolls in there, you can't really see. No, you'd have yeah. to just put them in there. Fenton. Mm-hmm. It's got some of that mountain clay in Silver it, but I have, to, I have to remove that. 
Oh god. That's easy. It's just putty. Oh god. That's the same stuff as the last one I got out for you. Yeah. It's no it's no big deal. Is it's that just like a, a floral stuff? It's it's probably some sort of floral mounting putty for the for the styrofoam or whatever they or put the in there. Or the kids just dumped slime in there. Um no, that was in there when <laughs> I got it, but um the last one, what I did with it was I basically filled this up with goof off mm -hmm. and let it soak for a little bit. And then I took a toothpick and started scraping away and just letting it melt the goo. And, that works. and then sopped That's it up. That's too abrasive for me. I don't like it. Sopped it up with a paper towel so yeah. it didn't smear all over the rest of the glass. And then, uh, and then wiped it clean with more goof off. And now you've got goo going and goof off. You have to be careful with that stuff. Because if you try to use that on plastics, it, it will eat <laughs> the plastics. Too so sure. yeah, because there's one, there's one I can't and I can't remember which one it is. There's one that you can use on the coin holders to get some of the tags off. Mm -hmm. Like when a dealer puts a cost code tag on, and I want to get it off. There is there is a one of the brands I can use, but the other one eats the plastic and it melts the plastic. So you have to be very careful with that stuff. But that's easy to fix there. This is cool. You ever heard of um, erector sets? Yes. This is Meccano. This is different. This is this engineering is engineering for boys. Yes. Not for girls. Only boys. It says so in the box. I'm gonna give you the the lid. Um, I just want you to know, but this is this is like pre erector set, and this is nineteen. I want to say nineteen. Teens. These are these. This is in the Elizabeth, teens. Elizabeth, New Jersey. That's really neat, and that's in really good condition. Yeah. So it's also got the original book here, and it's got a lot of the bridgework parts. There's two levels inside this box. It's like heavy duty metal. Oh yeah, it's all it's all pressed steel. Um, that's like tetanus waiting to happen. It's all it's all pressed steel, and these will work with erector sets. It's even got the wrench, which is one of the things that disappears, and it is the original Meccano wrench. So that's that's cool. And even the, even the pieces are stamped Meccano, so you know that they're not the yeah. the erector stuff shoved in this box. Um, when you find something that's a uh, hundred hundred years old like this, yeah, I mean, just for example, shape. look at the flipping airplane that they built. On the I on know. the cover. That's so great. That's like Louis, or, um, Orville and Wilbur Wright style. That's awesome. Yeah, I was I was excited about this set. I erector sets I don't get excited about, but this type of set with the graphics on this box, there's a battleship. It's a flipping battleship. So. No, this is cool. This is a cool set. I'm kind of geeking out a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's heavy too. Really heavy. I can imagine. Ah, uh, what else? I, I, did we do the teapot? That was from the last haul. Okay. Then I think... I think we covered it all. And there are some the... decks of cards from the Desert Inn, uh, Las Vegas. These are, these are used decks from the casino. Um, casino tokens and chips can be very collectible, and even the decks of cards from casinos that are not even not in use anymore. Um, and I have to look. I don't know if the Desert Inn is still there or not. Hmm. But people people that have been to Vegas and they remember these casinos and these grand places, they collect the stuff from there. So some of the stuff actually can turn out to be pretty good. So very cool. All right. So I guess that that. And the whole video. Yeah, I th yeah, I think that's it because we really didn't have. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. And then we have another short haul to film. We do. We've got a few to film today. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I know it was very disjointed, lots of stopping and starting, and it was too probably much. not one of our better hauls, but uh, we got through it. Too many bird distractions. Too many distractions. But um, we got some great stuff. Most of it is listed. If it's not listed, it's probably already sold because we are a little behind. Oh, what, is, what do you have there? We didn't do this. Do you remember, do you know what this reminds me of? 
I have to go back and look at the footage. That piece at Casper's with the coral. With the with the coral and the shells. Um, so I want to say it's some sort of condiment dish. Yes, it would have been a condiment dish. And I, but I can't remember if the shell one had pink handles or blue handles. But I remember that set was amazing. It was beautiful, and it was priced just right. Not, it wasn't priced for us to make money on yeah. it. But it was priced it was, right it for was the buyer. Exactly right. And somebody called them yeah. and bought that and had it shipped to Hawaii. I love that. Which yeah. I think is amazing. <laughs> so when I saw this, it made me think of that set. Yeah. And um, that person that bought that, I didn't know if this was a matchy match or not because I, I could. Don't I didn't think so. But hey. It's still, it's, it does have it, that coral handle. Yeah. I like that. And I it's. I like that. I'm going to cover up your face. It's only, got, it's only got like mold number marks on it. Yeah. And it's pretty heavy. It's a nice piece. You feel the weight of that? Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 got good it's weight good. to it. It's probably made here in the U.S. It's a good piece. So I like it. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. I think that's it. I hope that's it. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we are going to end it here and move on to the next video of filming. So don't be alarmed if I'm wearing the same clothes in the next one. Yes. I don't actually wear the same clothes every day. No. Sometimes I just film multiple videos in one day. We try to anyway. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>